To celebrate uh, uh, this wonderful country we live in, we thought we'd start the show by speaking to a man, this is fitting, who dressed as a giant asparagus. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Because today, in case you didn't know, is National Asparagus Day, and Gus marks the occasion every single year by dressing as a giant asparagus. He joins us now alongside St George himself to tell us more. Good morning, Gus. Good morning. Oh, good morning. You look absolutely Welcome amazing. Welcome to a glorious St George's Day. Oh, thank you thank so you. much. Well, let's start off. First things first. Why are you dressed as a giant asparagus? I could eat you. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> basically, we grow a lot of asparagus <laughs> in this area. <laughs> and in 2008, we start, started the uh, British Asparagus Festival. And I then became the mascot for the British Asparagus Festival. So and, and then we sort of moved on from there over the years. So, Gus, tell us a little bit about... You, you, this is all to celebrate Nas National Asparagus Day, obviously one of our great vegetables and it's coming into season now. So tell us a little bit about the origins of that and, and, uh, and how it's going. Yeah, well, it, it, it started today. They start with the... This is the first of the outdoor-grown Vale of Eversham asparagus, which is... This is the cut of the crop. And every, every year on National Asparagus Day, we, we celebrate the launch by taking the asparagus somewhere to, ra to raise money in the country. And what's lovely is that for every first batch that you get, you always donate it, don't you? You donate it to Buckingham Palace, you donate it to local charities. Yes, it, it, what are you doing it, this year, Gus? This year, um, because it's a bit of a strange one because of COVID, we are actually going to celebrate and donate it to the Royal Worcester Hospital, to the NHS. Oh, I love it. So yes, what you just all the good work they've done over the last years. You'll just send a load and then they can just choose how much we they want. Yes, that's right. <laughs> so, Gus, uh, the asparagus we have in the studio is from the Vale of Eish. It's the Vale of Eisham asparagus, widely regarded as one of the greats, uh, supplied by the lovely people at Revels Farm Shop in Worcestershire. This is, this is really what it's all about, right? Celebrating the Vale of Eisham for you. And you're a, you're a farmer yourself, aren't you? This... this... Yes, I am, a, I am a farmer myself, but unfortunately... I don't grow asparagus, because if I grew asparagus, I would be too busy cutting it at this time of year. <laughs> <laughs> to dress up so I, as asparagus. I go out promoting the Vale of Evesham asparagus. That's great. And when you do. go out, do people just want to eat you? <laughs> yeah, and I, I get all, called all sorts of names under the sun, so I have to put them right. But when they know what I'm doing, they're very understanding and they all want to try some Vale of Evesham asparagus. And Gus, uh, you have St George with you there, obviously St George's Day, and you'd quite like your, your sort of mission is to almost combine the two and make asparagus our uh, national vegetable. That's right. Uh, and the we would like of to make us, We would like to make. Yes, that's right. We'd like to make, make asparagus the food of St George, like the leek for Wales and the thistle for Scotland and things. Yeah. Lovely. Oh, awesome. thank best you of luck. For Lovely us. to have you guys with us. St George, you got a sword you can sort of wheel around there in a kind of Georgian manner. There he is. Look at him go. Oh, that's skills. <laughs> Wonderful He's got stuff. skills. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much.